Let's talk about how you made this amount of money, uh, which is uh, by far the largest amount of money that any individual has in Africa. So um, you came from a wealthy family or not a wealthy family? Uh, I came from a wealthy family. Uh, my late uh, uh, great-grandfather uh, in the 1940s was actually the uh, richest, uh, you know, uh, West African. My late grandfather. Following a global downturn for markets in 2022, the wealthiest individuals in Africa lost a collective $3.1 billion over the previous 12 months. The combined wealth of Africa's 19 billionaires is projected to be $81.8 billion, down from the $84.9 billion held by 18 African billionaires a year ago, according to Forbes. The 15% increase in the Forbes list for 2023 came after a 3.6% increase the previous year as a result of increasing stock values from Zimbabwe to Nigeria. Their fortunes declined in lockstep with global equities prices, with the S&P All Africa Index falling more than 20% in the first nine months of 2022 before beginning a late-year comeback that reduced the index's decline to just 3% over the previous 12 months. The wealth of Nigeria's Aliko Dangote, who has held the title of richest person in Africa for the past 12 years, decreased by $400 million to $13.5 billion. Johan Rupert, a South African businessman who specializes in luxury goods, maintained his number two ranking with $10.7 billion, down from $11 billion in 2022 as shares of his compagni financier Ricky Mont, which manufactures Mont Blanc pens and Cartier watches, partially reversed last year's dip. Nikki Oppenheimer, a South African with a net worth of an estimated $8.4 billion, is ranked third. He previously oversaw the diamond mining company De Beers before selling it to the mining company Anglo-American a decade ago. Christoph Weiss of South Africa, who ranks no. 18 on this year's list with $1.1 billion, is back. After selling his discount shop, Pepker, to Steinhoff International for $5.7 billion in 2015, Weiss, who was then worth more than $6 billion, lost his billionaire title two years later after an accounting scandal decimated Steinhoff's stock. He filed a lawsuit, and in March 2022, Steinhoff paid him 7 billion South African rand, about $400 million in cash and shares that represented nearly 5% of the publicly traded Pepker. Now that he's back, South Africa has the most millionaires in Africa 5 followed by Egypt and Nigeria, each with 4. The list included billionaires from 7 different African nations. Forbes used stock prices and currency exchange rates from January 13, 2023 to measure their net worths. At number 10 is Mohammed Mansur who is in charge of the 60,000-person Mansur Group, a family-run business that his father Laufi who died in 1976 created in 1952. In 1975, Mansur started General Motors dealerships in Egypt. He later grew to be one of the company's largest distributors globally. Moreover, Caterpillar equipment is exclusively distributed in Egypt and seven other African nations by Mansur Group. Under the Hosni Mubarak administration, Mansur, who holds dual citizenship in Egypt and the United Kingdom, served as Egypt's Minister of Transportation from 2006 to 2009. The family business is jointly owned by his brothers Yassin and Yousef, who are both billionaires. The first black African to appear on the Forbes list of billionaires, Patrice Matsep is the founder and chairman of African Rainbow Minerals. In 2008, he attained this status. He started an African-focused private equity business, African Rainbow Capital, in 2016. Matsep is the president and owner of the Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club in addition to having a shareholding in the publicly traded financial services company Sandlam. Matsep was chosen to lead the Confederation of African Football, the continent's regulatory organization for the game, in March 2021. After becoming the first black partner at the Johannesburg legal firm Bowman Gilfillan in 1994, he launched a mining services contracting company. He acquired underperforming gold mine shafts in 1997 and eventually made them profitable. A member of the richest family in Egypt is Naglib Sauris, a billionaire as well, his brother Nassef. He amassed wealth in the telecom industry and sold Oriscom Telecom in 2011 in a multi-billion dollar deal to the Russian telecom company Vimpelcom, now Viant. He is the chairman of Oriscom TMT Investments, which owns shares in, among other things, an Italian internet company called Italia Online and an Egyptian asset management. Sauris owns 88% of the pan-European pay TV and video news network Euronews through his Media Globe Holdings. Also, he built the opulent Silver Sands Resort on the Caribbean island of Granada. 
In July 2022, Rebrab nominated his son Malik as Sevital's next CEO. Rebrab started the company and ran it as CEO for more than 50 years. With a production capacity of 2 million tons per year, Sevital, the largest privately held firm in Algeria, is the owner of one of the world's largest sugar refineries. European businesses owned by Sevital include a steel mill in Italy, a German water purification firm, and French home appliance manufacturer Group Brandt. On January 1, 2020, Rebrab was released from prison after serving eight months in a corruption-related prison sentence. Any impropriety on his part is denied. Adenuga, the third richest person in Nigeria, made his fortune in the oil and telecommunications industries. With 55 million members, his mobile phone provider, Globacom, is the third largest provider in Nigeria. Canoil Producing, his oil exploration company, manages six oil blocks in the Niger Delta. At Pace University in New York, Adenuga earned an MBA while supporting himself as a student by driving cabs. At the age of 26, he sold lace and distributed soft drinks, earning his first million dollars. Nasef Saouris is an investor and a member of the richest family in Egypt. His almost 6% interest in sportswear manufacturer Adidas is his most significant asset. He bought a 5% ownership in the New York-listed company Madison Square Garden Sports, which owns the NBA's Knicks and the NHL's Rangers, in December 2020. He is the owner of OCI, one of the biggest nitrogen fertilizer manufacturers in the world, which has facilities in Texas and Iowa and is traded on the Euronext Amsterdam Exchange. Engineering and construction company Oriscom Construction trades on the Cairo Exchange in Nasdaq, Dubai. He holds shares in both Adidas and the world's largest cement company, Lafarge Halsam. He also serves on Adidas' supervisory board. Nasef Sauris teamed up with Fortress Investment Group's Wes Edens to purchase the Premier League's Aston Villa Football Club. Lagos BUA Group, a Nigerian company involved in real estate, sugar refining, and cement manufacturing, was founded by Abdul Samad Rabiu. Rabiu combined his privately held Abu Cement Company with the publicly traded cement company Northern Nigeria, which he controlled, at the start of January 2020. Rabiu owns 98.2% of the combined company, BUA Cement, which is traded on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The son of a businessman, Rabiu, received land as an inheritance. He founded his own company in 1988 and began importing iron, steel, and chemicals. For $5.1 billion in cash, Nicky Oppenheimer, the De Beers Diamond Fortunes heir, sold his 40% stake in the company to mining company Anglo-American in 2012. He took De Beers private in 2001, becoming the third generation of his family to manage the business. The Oppenheimer family dominated the global diamond trade for 85 years, up until 2012. Oppenheimer established Fireblade Aviation in 2014 in Johannesburg, which flies charters. In South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique, he owns at least 720 square miles of protected area. The chairman of Swiss luxury goods company Compagni Financiere Riquimont is Johann Rupert. The company's most well-known brands are Montblanc and Cartier. He was established in 1998 as a result of the spin-off of assets from Rembrandt Group Limited, which his father Anton founded in the 1940s and is now known as Rembro Limited. He leads the diversified investment firm Rembro, which he owns 7% of, and he also controls 26% of the Luxembourg-based investment holding company Rionet. In the Karoo, a region in South Africa where he owns land, Rupert has opposed fracking proposals loudly. Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, created and serves as chairman of Dangote Cement, the continent's largest cement manufacturer. Through a holding firm, he owns 85% of Dangote Cement, which is traded publicly. Dangote Cement operates in 10 African nations and has a production capacity of 48.6 million metric tons per year. The Nigerian fertilizer facility owned by Dangote started producing fertilizer in March 2022 after many years of construction. From 2016, Dangote Refinery has been under development. When finished, it would likely rank among the largest oil refineries in the world. Uh, one day I went to uh, a bank. Yeah. You know, at that time there were no restrictions of this, and I huh? wrote uh, a check and uh, cash, $10 million. And I took it home. For yourself? For myself, yes. I you cashed? $10 million, $10 million dollars from the yes, bank? Yes. Yes. And took it? I put it in the boot of my vehicle yeah. and I went home and I open it and I look at $10 million. I said, okay, fine. Now I believe I have money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know. <laughs>